I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Do your own research. Consult a professional investment advisor before making any investment decisions. This show is for entertainment only. Faites vos propres recherches. Here we are. In another episode. Of the Simple Success Podcast. And this is Financial Life Coaching from a Happiness Perspective. And back we are, loving what we do, and gee, did it. What did he? Just so you know, I missed that. Oh, control yourself, you fish of doom. You what? That's not Shakespeare. But controlling yourself is. Okay, I'll give you that. Tell me your thoughts. Now? Yes, now. Okay. Oh, how I wish I had the strength to control my thoughts and words. You do, in fact. My focus is ever so fleeting. My tongue oft causes discord. Yeah, I get that, but you do have the capacity to master your own accord. I do, but to know thyself is a great feat. Well, yeah, it requires deep introspection. It's hard to tame those inner voices. But it's a worthy direction. Right, all too often. We get carried away and lose what we desire most. Heeding those words of wisdom is vital when investing in a post. The fee for failure can be steep and must be guarded against at all cost. So by controlling my thoughts and words, I can make a wiser choice. So is that the idea we're exploring today? Yes, it is as I remember, Adam. And there begins my sadness. Your what? As you like it, DT. Boo, Shakespeare. So as I was saying... That's good. We're back from last week into this week. And once again, we're talking about the mindset we need to employ when investing. Or anything else. Yeah, you could argue that, sure. But only in a responsive way, right? Yep, and I'm pretty sure I know where you're going with this. But go ahead anyway. If your horses are bred better, or at least fair with their feeding. Yeah, okay, right, got it. Uh, So what's the difference between the responding that you're talking about and the reacting that we're not supposed to do. Let's break it down into bite-sized chunks. Right. And we'll make sure we are super clear here. Hmm, yep, working on that. We all are at ET, so... Well, so what's the difference? Difference meaning why one thing and not the other? In this case, yes. Okay, so what's the difference between... That one thing you said, uh, responding? Okay, stop there, please. I'm stopped. And then say it again. That one thing, that one thing you said, uh, responding. Again with that, the same thing. That's what you said I should do. And that time I reacted. Oh, unlike the first time. Right. The first time I responded. When you said, stop there, please. Right you are. How I wish we could do audio vignettes to plug in so you could hear what we hear. Don't react now, just respond. Doing that, being calm as well. That's part of responding? It is. Responding is calmer than reacting. Right, which is losing control. So that's how it's going to tie in. Yes, but that's Act 3 stuff. Okay, so back to the bite-sizing then? Certainly, since I know no wise way to avoid it. As I like it, right? Yes, kind sir. Boo. Shakespeare. Right, Kevin. But let's do the bite-sizing thing. That we will. Right after... Break number one. Hello, everyone. This is John with the Simple Success Podcast. Financial life coaching from a happiness perspective. Because we know you want to show us some serious love in return for the tremendous benefits you get from us please subscribe to us in your favorite podcast player. You can find us on both the App Store and the Play Store because our message is for everyone. Leave a rating for us, or even better, tell a friend. Whichever you choose, thank you so much for helping us do this for you. To leave us a written message, which just might lead to more in a future podcast, go to those same written show notes to find our subreddits. There is also our Facebook group page, Twitter, and other ways which we'll tell you about from time to time. You can also find an Easter egg every so often, so listen closely. Thank you again, and keep those constructive ideas coming. Mm -hmm. 
So by controlling my thoughts and words, I can make a wiser choice. Is that what you're saying? Well, yeah, it is what I said. He said simply. Right. Now, let's think about it for a second. I'm listening. I said think about it for a second, not listen to it for a second. Figure speech, dude. I'm thinking. Excellent. Now, when you control your thoughts and words, you're thinking about what it is that you want to say. In advance? Well, good luck with that one. Yes, in advance. I do that in the shower, and lots of people do stuff like that. Worse conversations? Sometimes. Doing it in a measured way that will help get your thought across to other people, friends, family, whoever, it helps you get your thoughts across so that you're more specifically understood. Yeah, but I'm thinking of all the people that don't do that and why they don't do that. That's because they don't practice what's most helpful, like most of us need to work on. Instead, they do it the way that seems most beneficial at the moment. Can it be possible that no man saw them? No, it can't be. Some villains of my court are of consent and sufferance in this. But what if they be seen? Then, then that must be as they like it. Meantime, we don't have to think of how to improve a lot of the things we do. We don't? In French, that would be nous ne le faisons pas? No, we don't. We just think about getting them over with and moving on to the next thing. Should we be trying instead to make them better the next time? Yes, and that's what we have to do. That's part of the visualization concept. And does it go hand in hand with today's idea of controlling our thoughts and words? Yes, it does. And they're in that order for a specific reason. Do tell, kind sir. When we control our thoughts, we have the opportunity to form a habit. Which is good, right? That's good. Can be. In this case, sure is. Because the habit, also, as we practice it, helps us control our words. Okay, so show me some examples about how this might work. Sure thing, my floppy yet rebounding steed. Here's a few things that come to mind right off the top. Talking? Yes, when you talk, you get to choose your words. Really? Even when you already have some habits? Sure, and they don't have to be really bad habits like blue language or something. They don't? Nope. Take this idea. The number one fear that people have is public speaking. And I don't blame them. Well, and I don't either when they don't practice getting better. Remember the 10,000 hour thing. Sure thing. This is what we have to do. And this is about habits somehow? It is. Roll with me here. Okay. If you've ever heard a person who says um or uh a lot. Yeah, or you know, or so. Or if they are relying on other crutches. Habits? Yes, habits. Huh? If they use those, what are sometimes called filler words, they probably have a habit going. Which they'd want to get rid of, wouldn't they? Indeed. You could take it further if you wanted to. How's that? If someone were to ask you a question, you could answer yes or no. Or you could develop your skills even further with the famous improv tactic known as yes and. Which is? Where you first agree with a previous speaker, and then you add more to it, so that they can respond and further the story even more. That could work. Hey, you want another advantage of choosing your words carefully? I do want such a thing. Then listen, all you here. You get to imagine how your words might make the other person feel. How do you do that? You simply pretend that the words are coming at you. Then you can decide if you'd like them, and if yes, you can do more of it. Or, as Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz might say, what would you do with a brain if you had one? But it doesn't have to be that hard, does it? No. I mean, not that that was hard, but no, it can be simple. Which is the path to success, right? I see what you did there, but I must admit, yes, you're right. So when you respond, you remain in control. Correct. And when you react, you give up control. I know which way I'd rather be. <laughs> which is that, D.D.? It's the way that starts with Cliff. Oh, you want to keep the listeners hanging, huh? Just a little bit. I mean, of course, we'll get them the answers and the tie-in. But first, break number two. We know a lot about you already. 
because we know ourselves. For example, we know that you know how to listen to a hard podcast. And we also know that you probably know how to subscribe. So as soon as you're done with that, tell us your story. We have ways you can contact us. It involves a special link where you can leave us a message. We may have an email address for you as well in the future, and we'll let you know if that happens. The reason for subscribing? I thought you'd never ask. When you subscribe, you automatically download all future episodes of that podcast. It just happens in your player without you having to go search again. How cool is that? This means better rankings for the podcast, more attention from advertisers, and more money. And this means more and better stuff for you. So your motivation is simple and easy. Subscribe today, whatever app and from whatever place you like. And don't just try to subscribe. There is no try. There is only do. We're changing the way we look at things. And remember, that's good. Eso es bueno, civil. Also remember, this is financial life coaching from a happiness perspective. Coaching happiness. Our call to action is right in the show notes. Find it and you win too. Before that second break, yes, John, you promised that we'd get them, in quotes, the answers and the tie-in. Yes, I did. Them, in quotes, being our listeners. But as I can document well, we are now at that point. And so what is your point, if I may ask? My point, dear DD, is that you must do what you've promised. Oh, I see. And may I do that however I please? No, you may not, kind sir. And just why would you say that? Because methinks that you're trying to set me up. And thus? And thus I might agree to letting you react. Oh, react instead of respond. You are so with it today, my friend. Mantra. Algorithm. That's very nice and all, but... Uh, or, uh, you okay, DT? Yeah, I guess just frustrated is all. Oh, uh-huh. And you feel like yelling. Yeah, no. Okay, sometimes. But things would be much better if you stayed calm, correct? Yeah, they would, uh, if you say so. Nice thought. But I actually know so. All right, so what do you suggest? I must know this and add this to my database. I mean, what does John suggest? Well, we've been discussing investing for a while now, and I think it's time we make a decision. What kind of decision? About how we're going to proceed so that we can achieve our goals. Okay, agreed. What do you think is the best way to approach this? I believe the best way to approach investing is by having a plan and following it consistently. Yes, exactly. It's important to practice, persist, and repeat in order to ensure success. And when we stay calm about things, then we get better results. Or at least we make a better situation to live in. Yes, because happiness is something we should all have in everything we do. Right. Instead of being jealous and wanting to bite people just for eating their lunch. You're not throwing shade at our listeners, I hope, D.D., no, sorry. That was more about one of my cats. I am so much more than a cat. Okay. So, using another person's strategy can still be a happy thing? I think so. And you think right, because it's the result which matters. You mean it's my goals that matter? Well, yeah, that. In fact, I even have a mantra for that. Which is? Which is, quote, I have no attachment to the method of success. You don't care if you're successful or not? I did not say that, you malodorous sack of laundry. You certainly have a way with words, John. So what did you mean? I mean, I want to be successful, and I'm open to the idea of using one of a number of different methods to get there. Okay, I think I understand. Thank you, DT. And now, to have that way with my ideas in such a way that you'll say, That's a great idea. We should research and analyze different strategies. Then decide on the ones that seem to fit our goals best. Oh, that's good. And I made you say that with my writing, didn't I? Yes, you absolutely did. It's also important to remember that investing isn't an overnight success story and requires patience and dedication in order to succeed. I am liking this calmness in you, DT. With that said, I think we have a plan of action. Shall we move forward? That sounds like a great plan. Let's get to work whistling while we work, because we proceed calmly with a combination of knowledge and patience, which makes it not daunting for someone 
Who is new to investing? Which is how you've all gotten good. Gracias por escuchar. Salut. A la prochaine. This podcast and our other podcast are productions of Little Red Hen Industries. The supporting cast who helps me bake the bread includes Techno King, John C. Brandy, Alter Ego, Doubting Thomas, Fact Checker, A Small Brown Beef Animal, Seriously, Tiny. Facts are important but are also easy. Social Manager, Abraham Lincoln, Media Expert, Augustus Caesar. Psychologist, William James, Sound Designer, Adobe's Creative Suite, Spanish Consultant, Cameron J.K. Brandy, French Consultant, Leah, The Do Your Own Research Lady, Videographer, Eto Moon Koshki, Audio Props, Les Paul, Inspiration, Many Podcasts and Other Sources and of course Napoleon Hill. We also have websites and you can subscribe to both podcasts. You can even send us a video, audio or text message. But of course, you'll have to head to the show notes either on your phone or on the web to get the links and stuff. All the clickable links are in the show notes. And before we forget, the artificial intelligence or AI voices you hear in our work come from Google, Amazon Polly, and OpenAI like we say in the show notes. We just love what AI can do when lovingly crafted. Finally, you can find us on ProtMatch.com, Matchmaker.fm, Podbooker and Podcast Guests where we consider guests and consider guesting on other people's shows. And really finally, the music for our pods comes from Cute by Ben Sound and from Piano Background by Nick Simon Adams. As well as from AI MuseNet. The sound effect credits go to Jackson Academy Ashmore, Kanusi G, Dr. Jekyll, Joe Payne, Everything Sounds, MK Play More Stories, ERH, Sand Emotions, Big Pickle 51, and Just Kidding. Yes, that's his or her name. All on freesound.org. Also, languages are the bomb. Paul.